said I made it to the mountaintop. Now you can, uh, I guess I get better reception up here. This is uh, considered the helicopter pad. That's where I land when I don't want to drive. You know what I mean? You can land out the sky. You can land on four wheels, two wheels, one wheel, or wheelie, however you want to do that shit. But when you want to land on the land, we do it by helicopter. But look at that view. And y'all want to know why I love this game, Monopoly? Look at God's creation. Try to expose y'all to something new, something different. I'm so mad at myself for buying all that, that damn jewelry and diamonds and all that shit I was buying prematurely. This is what I should have been buying the whole while. So when the young homies ask me, and they want to know what advice I would give them. This is the first on my list. Buy you some land. Play Monopoly. Buy you some land. God ain't making no more. So many attributes to land until it's unmatchable. You can be in a million, two, three, five million dollar car and that shit still don't add up to God creation. That's man-made shit. Land is God-made. And he ain't making no more, so. Get y'all some land, homies. I can't wait to uh, get my boxes out here so they can run some of these these mountains and inclines and different things. I already know what it's gonna do for for their minds and their bodies. So as I make the moves that I make, I got you know my, my fighters in mind. You know I got my family in mind. I got my friends in mind. I got loyalty wine out here everywhere when you step out of the airport in Belize there's loyalty wine right there waiting on you it's amazing how you can uh, go to these other places and they show you more love than they show you at home have anybody ever experienced that I think I may have froze up again.
so I don't see my thing moving, so I guess my line went off. If it happened, y'all let me know so I can keep spinning. Oh yeah. Now as I was saying though, sometimes you get more love from other places than you get in your own backyard. They tell me Jesus was hated in his own backyard. Isn't that interesting? Well, no weapon form against me shall prosper. So, you know, when it comes to the U.S., look down here. That shit beautiful down there. When it comes to the U.S., you know, it has a bittersweet taste in my mouth where the U.S. is concerned. But, uh, The good outweigh the bad. You know what I mean? But this out here is the land of milk and honey. You know, I read some of the scriptures that was describing the land of milk and honey. Shit, this is the land of milk and honey out here in Belize. I'm creating some beautiful things out here that I'm going to be inviting you all to real soon. Just to, uh, so you can have exposure. It's a powerful thing in being exposed to, uh, to different things, you know. That was a time, shit, I never went on a vacation in my life. When I was a kid. I was in the hood 24-7. So... That's all like a dream I was hood shit. You know what I mean? And then after I uh started traveling, my vision began to get broader, you know what I mean? Because I was I was seeing different things. And when I saw them, it allowed me to dream bigger. And that's the real power, you know, having access the things outside the hood which ignite a thing in the chosen and the ones that really want to do that shit and not on the sideline hating on somebody to fail then that's what we need we just need exposure we need to see our brother our sister do that shit so we can be inspired. You know what I mean? Look at that wall. Who made that? Yeah, it don't it don't never run dry. It, it's something about the word exposure and people that uh don't mind sharing experiences and wisdom with you to empower you to dream and be able to do above and beyond the things that they've done in life. I love them kind of brothers and sisters. The ones that make it and forget about where they came from, I ain't got no respect for you. Y'all worse than Judas. Y'all know Judas who stuck that knife who crossed Jesus out. He ain't stick no knife in his back, but what he done was so cold with the kiss that he gave him. He might as well stuck a knife in his back. So yeah. I'm just walking and spitting. I like to do this sometimes because I know if I can just reach one, if I can 
inspire and ignite one to become that that awoken me and to become that that would make a difference in the community, in the neighborhood. Shit, I've done my job for the day. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to awaken a sleeping giant. Who my brother Larry Hoover gave me a game about years ago. He used that word, awakening a sleeping giant. He was talking about all of us. You know what I mean? All of us that sleep. That have power and access to power that's stuck on stupid. He was talking about awakening that sleeping giant that's in your ass. And going out and executing. And changing your family lives and people that's in your circle, community, all that good shit. Man, I think I'm walking in about a, with 9,700 degrees well out here and loving every minute of it. Yeah, loving every minute of it. And I'm doing it solo. You know? Me, myself, and I. Those don't know I'm a loner anyway. I love spending time with myself because I love me. I don't need nobody to uh, make me love me or encourage me to love me. I already love me. All I got is love to share. But I'm a recipient. <laughs> Of good love. Let me tell y'all something about, since I'm talking about this good love, I'm gonna tell y'all something about confusion. Y'all do know Satan is the author of confusion, right? So when you're in the motherfuckers mad and angry and full of shit. Yeah, get you a spot where you can go get some peace. Where you can tap into all that sucker shit. I love to walk, I love to hike, I love to walk in the sun, I love to walk in the rain. I'm a full-blooded nature boy. So those of you that don't like nature and like to sit on the couch and not do shit, don't want shit, don't want to dream to become shit, I wouldn't be a good friend for you. We probably wouldn't get along. Yeah, we wouldn't get along at all. Because oil and water don't mix. One of my guys driving by. Yeah, 
here. Look at these beautiful plants. Yeah, y'all know oil and water don't mix, right? So, if you got that oil in your engine, get rid of that water down shit. You don't want nobody around you with that water down game and all that bullshit because they're going to mess your engine up, mess your flow up, mess your movement up, mess your frequency up. And we ain't about that today. Where my growth and development home is at out there? This is a world of growth and development. We ain't about that stagnant, being stuck shit. What's wrong with you clown? Waking up to uh, try to bring another man down. Hate on, a, hate on another man. So goddamn glad I don't wake up every day with that on my heart and in my mind about who can I hate on, talk about, throw shit at, eat shit all day for my appetite. That's a miserable nigga. Or human, should I say. That have to uh, live like that. You miserable. It's a matter of time before misery catch up with the misery. One thing about this word called time, time ain't got nothing but time. It sits and waits on all of us. And it reminds us in them final minutes, I told you, I don't have a number time. Up front, pick me up to go look at the new land I just purchased and um, Park Place. So we're gonna start beautifying Park Place, just like this place is. Plant a bunch of fruit trees all over the place. Put some nice living quarters and different things high up there in the mountains. But it's the jungle. I ain't even went live on the mountains yet. You know, we got mountains too. I'm working on a three-stage experience that I, I'm gonna invite everybody to. Matter of fact, I got a vision where I'm gonna fly two or three United planes because that private shit ain't got enough room for my real homies. So I'm gonna get about three or four, two or three United planes just full of, fill them up full of us. And we're gonna come and do a party weekend out here in Belize. In the mountains, in the jungle. And then we're gonna head to the island. So y'all get ready. I don't know if y'all heard me, but that's a dream of mine. Three stage experience. We're going to the mountains. We got about 250 acres in the mountains. That's beautiful on top of the world. Then we're gonna come to the jungle. Then we're gonna head to the island. We're gonna party for like the whole weekend. Just balling enjoying nature family and friends 
don't want none of you maggots, y'all. Maggots not in, in, invited in my circle. And that's for your own safety. Yeah, no maggots allowed. Somebody asked me, am I scared of the jungle? You know what amazes me? Some of you clowns love to kill each other, love to destroy one another, and come to a place like the jungle where it's love and peace and tranquility, and y'all nuts go up y'all's stomach. They just draw up. Y'all get scared. All of a sudden, fear is in your heart. And you got to ask yourself, what kind of nigga like to kill niggas and destroy the livelihood of niggas? But then they come to nature where peace and tranquility and fear get all over. I'm going to tell you what they tell me about them. That fear was already in them, even though they like to squeeze triggers and kill each other and destroy. That pump, that pussy, that fear already exists. It's a matter of mashing the right button to get it up out of them. Time and a place for everything. I just got an eight man by a rooster. I got everything out here, homies. I got, you know, you get fresh eggs, fresh meat, fresh vegetables, everything. But back to them bunkers. You know, a lot of y'all think I'm crazy when I, Kimmy don't think I'm crazy though, because Jazz's wife, Kimmy, she hip to the game. She pushing me to build these bunkers and get prepared, you know what I mean, for the worst. You uh, know, I'm with her on that because it's better to have and not need than to need and not have. So, I'm building bunkers in the U.S. and out here, just in case I can't make it out here in time. I'm going to be covered in the U.S. What y'all think about that? All right. I'm gonna have to let y'all go. I'm gonna uh, get ready to Exercise ring closed. go up to the mountains with my my people. And uh Hey, y'all be good. We'll kick it another time. Stay blessed.